Hey, Dabo Sweeney, uh, the comment you made after y'all lost last night about when the reporter asked you, uh, don't you have sports psychologists on staff to help players deal with, you know, disappointments and frustrations? And you said you joked that the sports psychologist, the sports psychologist is on suicide watch. You think that's funny? And for people to try to dismiss that, it's nothing funny about mental health issues. But you joked like it's something funny about it because y'all lost. First of all, let me say this. It's funny what happens when you have to actually coach, huh? See, you have to actually coach now. You're not able to stack all the talent and just go out there and overwhelm teams. Now, all these teams have very talented players that choose to go to their schools to pursue the better opportunities for themselves. And now you have to actually coach and you get beat regularly. You're not the only coach. Nick Saban is the same. He has to actually coach now. And now it's a struggle. But going back, you are the one who, you said you don't believe in the transfer portal, right? You are the one who Clemson pays about $10 million a year. And you said college athletes shouldn't benefit off their name, image, and likeness. They shouldn't get paid. That's what you said. You said there's enough entitlement going around when you was asked about whether should college whether college football players or athletes get paid. And you said, no, you don't believe in it. They're entitled. But a man who's making almost $10 million a year off college athletes, you never believe they should get paid. And you said, you don't, you don't use the transfer portal. So, okay. So as a, as a, as a high school athlete, or why would I want to come to your school? If I was a high school athlete, I know that, you only care about you and enriching yourself. You don't care about me. You don't care about putting these athletes in a better position to better themselves. You only care about you because your words have said that. So, Coach, I can't get paid on my name, image, and likeness because you get almost $10 million a year. I think you sound like a 10-year, 90-some, $3 million contract. Hey, and Coach, we helping you make So, I ain't asking for none of your money. You don't believe I should get that? You, you know they're entitled if they ask for money for their services and their name, image, and likeness. And you don't believe in getting the transfer portal. So why would players come to you? Why? But as someone who dealt with mental health issues, especially in college, when my red shirt was exhausted in the ninth game of the year and I ran for 200, uh, 100, over 100 yards in two straight games, then got benched. Then for the next two years, I knew I was the best running back on the team, but was played out of position. Then when I came back my senior year, I was put last on the depth chart because I told my coach at the time I wasn't going to play fullback, and he didn't like that. So then I got hurt again, but I still balled out. Then I got hurt again. I was having mental health issues. I was having suicidal thoughts. I had to deal with that. And, and even when my football career was over and I had to start real life, I had to deal with mental health issues. I had suicidal thoughts. But I knew I had children to take care of, so I couldn't do that. So ain't nothing funny about that. Nothing at all. Ain't nothing to joke about because you lost the game. Because you getting out coached. So I think you really should uh, give an apology out. Those are just my thoughts. Y'all don't have to agree with them. That's just how I feel about it. But Dabo, you just getting what's coming to you, man. That's all. These young royals ain't dumb. They see what you about. So now what you about is getting losses. Ha <laughs> ha.